Hi, I'm Abhar Sanghi, a technical marketing engineer for Cisco Secure Firewall. And in this video, we will see how to use Policy Analyzer and Optimizer. With an ever-growing network, it can become difficult to manage the firewall policies. It can also lead to misconfigurations and security blind spots, potentially compromising the security posture and causing outages. As part of AI operations, we have introduced Policy Analyzer and Optimizer, which can help you analyze your policies help address issues like overlapping rules and objects, and optimize your policies. Policy Analyzer and Optimizer will give you detailed information about redundant rules, shadow rules, overlapping objects, expired rules, and rules that can be merged together, as well as headcount insights of each rule. You can download the analysis as a report and also apply the remediation. Once we run the analysis on a policy, we will see a summary like this which shows us information about the different categories. And in this example, we can see that 81% of the rules have some or the other anomaly that can be fixed by applying the suggested remediation. Now let's go to Security Cloud Control and see Policy Analyzer and Optimizer in action. To launch Policy Analyzer and Optimizer, we will go to Insights and Reports in the left panel and then go to Policy Analyzer and Optimizer. We can select a data source for the policy that we want to analyze. It can be cloud-delivered FMC, or we can directly upload our SFO file, which is helpful in case your FMC cannot be onboarded to Security Cloud Control, or we can select an on-prem FMC onboarded to Security Cloud Control. In this video, we'll continue with cloud-delivered FMC. At the top, we see an overall summary of the policies that have been previously analyzed. Below we see all the policies configured on CDFMC. We will select the policy that we want to analyze, in this case, our corporate DC policy. As we see, there are no previous observations for this policy, meaning that this policy has not been analyzed yet. We will now click on Analyze Policy to begin the analysis. We see that the analysis has been initiated successfully. And now we see that there is a task running in the background. If we click on the refresh button, we can see that the analysis status is now queued. And if we click on refresh again after a few seconds, we see that the analysis is now running on the policy. If we click on refresh again after a few minutes, we see that the analysis is now complete. And there are 1,294 observations in this case, and the policy can be optimized by 15%. We will select the policy and click on View Analysis Details and Optimize to view the analysis. Here, we can see an overall summary of the analysis, like the number of anomalies, shadow and redundant rules, expired rules, rules that can be merged together, uh, fully overlap objects, and partially overlap objects. We can then move to different tabs to see the analysis in detail. We will go to the duplicate rules tab. Here, we can see the list of fully shadowed rules and fully redundant rules. If we click on each, we can see the observation in further detail. We'll click on the first observation and we see the rule and all the other rules that it is shadowing. We can see that this rule is shadowing one other rule by this particular name. We can either disable all the fully shadowed rules or mark them for deletion. For now, we'll go ahead and disable these rules. Similarly, We'll check the fully redundant rules and disable these rules as well. Then we'll go to the expired rules tab. Here we see a list of all the rules that have a time range object applied to them, which have now expired. Again, we can either disable all these rules or delete these rules. In this case, we will delete all the expired rules. Now, we'll go to the tab for Mergeable Rules. Here, we can see the observations about all the rules that can be merged together. We will mark all these rules for merge. We get a warning that the logging setting for the first rule will be applied once the rules are merged. We will click on Proceed to merge the rules. Then, we will go to the Overlapping Objects tab where we can see the list of all the objects that are completely 
or partially overlapping with each other. We can choose to completely remove all the fully overlapping objects, but for now, we'll choose not to do that. Next, we'll go to the Policy Insights tab, where we can see insights into the hit counters for different types of rule actions. For example, we could select the action as Allow and select the rule type as Never Hit Rules. Here, we would get a list of all the rules with Allow action that have never been hit before. In this case, since it's a new policy and we don't have any traffic going through the device right now, we don't have any Allow rules with particular hit counts. So, we'll not make any changes over here as of now. We can also go to Download Analysis Report and download the complete report in a PDF format. This is useful if you want to look at the complete analysis in detail before applying any remediation. We will now go back to Security Cloud Control and click on Apply Remediation to make the changes that we had selected. It will give us a summary of the changes that will be made. We'll click on Apply to proceed. As we see, the remediations are now being applied. And once the remediation begins, the policy will get logged so that other administrators don't make any changes until the remediation is complete. Once the remediation is complete, we can download the optimization report in which we can see the actions that were applied on the routes. We can now go back to the Policy Analyzer and Optimizer page. Select the policy again and reanalyze the policy for updated results. This concludes our demonstration for Policy Analyzer and Optimizer. Thank you very much for watching the video.